you matter. I didn't mean to send you back and then bring you back. No, I'm just running a little short of time, just trying to get through it. If you would just have a seat right down there. Your first name, Adam, is? First name? Mary Beth. Mary Beth. And Mary Beth, have you ever been hypnotized? No. Are you hypnotized right now? No. Glad to hear it. I asked these folks to come up front for a reason. I was looking through the group, looking for very good visualizers, people that could take an image and incorporate that image into pictures quickly and easily. Good hypnotic subjects, people that can focus easily and relatively quickly for demonstration purposes. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I've never met any of these individuals, but they all appear to me to be good visualizers. Let me show you what happens when a good visualizer starts focusing and visualizing other things. Your first name, sir. And your first name, sir. Bud. Do you two know each other? Oh, shake. You're about to know each other a whole lot better than you ever thought you would. Would you shake? Introduce yourself. Good. And you're not hypnotized right now, correct? Correct. Would you help me catch her? Hands up just like that. I know it's down the street. See that spotlight right in front of me, ma'am? Got your eyes on it? Take a nice deep breath for me, would you? Can you remember how relaxed you were just a few minutes ago? Remember that feeling? Remember that feeling? Yeah, me too. Okay. Now, it's deeper and more relaxed. Just keep drifting. More and more relaxed, loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp. Just keep drifting down, more and more relaxed, more and more comfortable. Now, you said you wanted to do this, right? First name, Adam. Angie. Angie? Yes. And are you hypnotized right now, Angie? It doesn't feel like it. Doesn't feel like it. It really usually doesn't feel that much different, but what happens is the person is able to get so focused and so relaxed that they begin responding in a certain different way. So let me show you what I'm talking about. See that light up there? Would you keep your eyes on it? Okay. Doesn't matter. Just a visual fixation spot. Have you got it? Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes on it. Don't take your eyes off it. Nice deep breath. Now follow the tip of my finger if you don't mind. Take a nice deep breath. Deep, deep, deep. Sweet. There you go. Loose and limp. Loose and limp. Loose and limp. Loose and limp. Just like a rag doll. All the way down. Breathing slowly and deeply. Exhale slowly. Feel yourselves drifting down deeper, deeper. Deeper, 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 and sleep all the way down. Loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp. You're now, let's do just a few simple experiments. And I do apologize. Your first name again, madam? Mary Beth. Mary Beth, I do apologize. Mary Beth, I had asked you, let me, let me grab my microphone because these folks might want to hear what you have to say. I'm going to you go to this mic now if you don't mind. There you go. Mary Beth. Uh, when I came up here, I'd ask you if you've ever been hypnotized uh, before or not, and your answer was no, correct? Do you think you're hypnotized right now? Please be honest. No. Are you wide awake right now? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> eyes wide open, kind of five, one, two, three, five. Oh, eyes wide open. That didn't work out well. So I'll tell you what. Do you think I could hypnotize you in 10 seconds or less? Be honest. Um, <laughs> no. Are you a betting person? Have you ever placed a bet? Yes. I got a bet you might be interested in. I'll bet you $100 that I can put you to sleep in 10 seconds or less. Okay, I don't want to bet that. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'll make it even easier for you. Okay. If you stay awake, I give you 100 bucks. If you don't, it doesn't cost you a thing. So it's not a bet. I'm the only one risking okay. money here. All righty? Okay. Would you mind holding that for me for a second, sir? Here's all I ask from you. Would you pick a spot to look at, keep your eyes focused on that spot, and what I need from you is a head nod to know when the 10 seconds starts. Fair enough? And, and, and after you nod your head, if you can stay awake for 10 seconds, I'll owe you 100 bucks. Fair enough? Okay. Okay. I need a clear hair, cut head nod so I know when this is all going to start. Okay. And you're sure about that, right? Good. <laughs> Deep asleep. Loose, limp, relax. Loose, 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 loose. Stuck, 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 like a stuck. Stuck like super glue as if it's fusing, sealing, lock into your head. At the count of five, eyes wide open, but that hand remains stuck until I touch your forehead. That hand remains stuck until I touch your forehead. One, two, three, five. Eyes wide open, hand stuck. All right. So you didn't get a chance to earn the 100 bucks. <clears throat> I'm sorry to be in front of you, sir. Are you hypnotized right at this moment? Be honest. No. You're sure about that, right? N want to no. Do want to do a little experiment? Would you I'm raise your right sure. arm? Would you raise your right arm for me? Try to raise your left arm. See what happens. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll give you an advantage. See if you can pry it off with that hand. See if that maybe helps you a little bit. Now you keep trying. Let's investigate what we got here. Mary Beth can't seem to get her hand off her head, but Mary Beth. Do you feel like you're hypnotized? I mean, if I, if I said to you, does it feel like you're in hypnosis, what would your answer be? No. You feel like you're totally wide awake and completely in control, right? Yes. So let me see you pull your hand off your head. <laughs> That's got to be one of the strangest things in the whole wide world. And how, how are you doing, madam? I'm doing good. And do you think you're hypnotized? Please be honest. 
No, but I'm sure you're going to say different. <laughs> okay. Well, what I'm trying to do is teach the group a little bit about what this state of mind is really all about. But be, please be honest at all levels. Do you feel like you're hypnotized? Do you think you're, you kind of think you're wide awake, right? Yes. Are you a betting person? Mm -hmm. Friendly bet. Friendly bet the jar, right? Sleep, deep sleep. All right, go, go. Loose and limp, loose and limp, loose and limp. You know, hold on for just a second. Loose and limp, deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep. At the count of five, when you open your eyes, you'll discover you can't say a single word. It's like your tongue is tied, almost like there's marbles in your mouth. The harder you try to talk, the more impossible it becomes. Can't say a single solitary word until I touch your forehead, eyes, whatever. The count of five, one, two, three, five, oh. And all tongue tied now. Uh, where do you live, madam? Harder you try, the more tongue tied it becomes. <laughs> do, you, do you live around here? <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> no, that was the strangest thing. Really. Well, you keep thinking about that. Hold on to there. And there's <laughs> you mind? Does anybody up here not think they were hypnotized? I need a skeptic, somebody who doesn't think they were hypnotized while they're up here. You don't think you were? Anybody else? You don't think you were? Would you mind holding that for just one moment, madam? Sure. Sleep. Loose limp, loose limp like a rag doll. Deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep. Loose limp, loose limp, loose limp, loose limp. Loose and limp and relax. Relax, 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 relax. And stuck. Feel it. Fusing, sealing, locking. Fusing like super glue. Tight, 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 tight. When I reach number one, you can't pull your hand off your head. Three, two, one. Try to get the hand off your head. It just sticks tighter, tighter, tighter. Fusing, sealing, locking. And the harder you try, the tighter it sticks. You can use this hand, but it just remains stuck and fused and sealed until I touch your forehead. Point. Even very good hypnotic subjects often do not think they have been hypnotized. You can quite often go up to a really good subject and they'll tell you, I was faking it, I don't think it worked, it just wasn't working for me. And you find time and time again that they were responding. To practice this technique is really essentially simple. You just find a quiet place, you let your whole body relax, you pick a goal, and you start slowing your mind down. <laughs> You just hit her in the head. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. 